Now, as I said earlier, there are slight variations to this method. Another variation we can do is by using the text tool right here. If we take this text tool and let's change it to are the uh, template. You can do this in edit mode for a text object. And let's use the same livery decals material here. And now let us rotate this. Onto the side of the aircraft. Let's keep it approximately the same size as this text over here. It's not the same font, of course, but this is just for demonstration. If you want to change the font, you can change it right here in the text menu under font. You just open it and select one of the downloaded fonts you already have. Let's take this to the side in the middle of the aircraft. And now we will do the same extruding process. So let's talk about how we'll do this now since this is a text uh, text object. We can't exactly go into edit mode and extrude it. It's just the edit mode is just for editing the text itself. To be able to extrude it, we first need to convert it into a mesh. So you click spacebar to search. And if you don't have this search function enabled, you go to edit preferences and go to key map. In here, just make it search instead of play. Also, I would uh, not recommend keeping play ever in when you're in a model like this because if you, let me just demonstrate it real quick. You can already see my point. When I play the animation, it lags like hell. You can see one FPS. It makes your PC freeze up real good. Let's go back to frame 41. So I'd recommend, since you might actually accidentally click play, uh, just keep it this on search. So now we when we press the spacebar, we type convert to we want to convert it to a mesh. And now when we go to edit mode, you can see it's made up of faces. We can extrude these faces. But that doesn't exactly work here since it comes backwards. So you can duplicate this object and scale it minus one. Not on the x-axis. Here it will be on the y-axis. Now it is doing it on the origin, so it's going all the way over here. If we set our origin to geometry, it will do it from the center of the geometry. So when we do minus one now, still a little bit off, but not as bad as it was earlier. We can now manually move it this way. If you want, you can also do X-ray mode and try to match its alignment. We can now extrude these two individually. This time we don't want it coming out onto the other side since we have another object for doing the decal on the other side. Let's now add the boolean modifier. And delete the faces on the inside for text like this you can just select vertices select and just take these inside ones and delete them let's do the same thing with the other side there we go let's now take both of these out as well by 0 0.02 meters or 2 centimeters There we go. And here as we can see, the text is not made up of a texture like here where there's pixels. It's made up of a mesh. So technically this is infinite resolution. It's made up of meshes. It's not made up of pixels. It's made up of vertices and edges and faces instead of pixels. And this is unique. This is something that you won't find in FSX and stuff. This is something new to Microsoft Flight Simulator. This is the method that Asobo also uses for their libraries. If you zoom in real close, you'll never see pixels. There's a few advantages to this. Of course, the pixels aspect is there. Then also our uh, 
uh, this has already been assigned the livery decals material also since this doesn't require a texture like this it just requires a color since the the shape of the the object is already in the shape of the texture so if we just do a smart uv projection and we'll just do something random doesn't really matter scale it as much down as you want to anything you want with it just give it a color so i'm just keeping it on the black part as you can see it's black let's do the same thing with the other side as you can see it just doesn't matter what you do with the uv just scale it down make sure all parts are there if you go back it is black <laughs> 